just start, David said a few words of introduction. I would like, before uh, giving the podium to our distinguished guest, both from uh, abroad and from Israel, I, I would like to say a few words about the topic, challenges and future directions uh, in geography. And let me start with, uh, I will be very brief. Uh, and I, I want to assume that if we want to keep geography as an independent scientific discipline, if we take this assumption, under, under this assumption I think that the main challenge of geography is to stay relevant. And we have so many other disciplines that are coming close to geography. And in order to do so, I think that uh, we have, first of all, to work on better understanding the special decision making process which can lead us of, uh, to to have some contributions to a better special organization and design. Secondly, to continue providing special information to monitor change and determine its effects in order to contribute to human safety and environmental sustainability. And thirdly, deepening cultural geography, which was not practiced so much in our department, but I think it's one of the main leading uh, directions in the future. Uh, with new technologies in order to increase the opportunity span for what we call well-being. So our contribution, I think, might be in special planning and organization, in monitoring and studying global and local spatial changes and human well-being, which involves these three fields. One, the field of decision-making. Secondly, information technologies. And thirdly, cultural geography. And from which we can develop in several directions. Let me just mention briefly a few of them. One is spatial psychology and spatial behavior. Secondly, spatial policy making. Micro and macro simulations, all based on big data analysis. Virtual geography, this is by the way, one of the names for a, a new coming uh, field. And conservation studies, which we uh, lagged behind. Just to say very few words, just to mention them, you can read whatever is written behind me, but special decision making is the process of choosing between special alternatives. And it involves special psychology, as I said before, and special behavior. Uh, special policy making, specially developing decision supporting systems. They can either be geospatial uh, cyber uh, infrastructure, or special uh, decision support systems from other, other types, and multi-criteria analysis as part of this uh, direction. The big data analysis, the, uh, the, which is a, a different field or which changes some of the tools that we are using to analyze things and they are uh, being changed. Big data analytics, for example, in order to uncover hidden patterns, unknown correlations, market trends, and so forth. Microsimulation, it's not as a new field, but it's new, relatively new to geography, and in the last five, 10 years, there are a lot of efforts in this direction. Uh, uh, one thing, just a minute, I'm going back. Okay, virtual geography, which is one of the names uh, to um, kind of virtual reality. It is a broad term for the ability of the user of a constructed view of a limited digitally, um, digitally encoded information domain to change their view in three dimensions, causing update of the view presented to any viewer, especially uh, the users. And finally, human well-being by the way, there is a, um, a big conference coming up between uh, the Department of Education here and the part of the commissions of UNESCO, Israeli a part of UNESCO, developing a multidisciplinary approaches to well-being. Now, this is very briefly on some of the directions that I can uh, see for now. And we have uh, five people. Each one will speak from his own experience or his own point of view. Professor Kolosov will speak on cultural and institutional challenges to geography. Stanley Brun, Professor Stanley Brun will speak on visual politics, memory scapes, and the geography of social media. 
Each one will be very brief, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, Isaac Schnell will speak on social spaces in the era of globalization. Michael Sofra will speak on restructuring the rural space. And uh, our colleague Shaul from our department will speak <coughs> on precision in geography. So each one has something between uh, 10 to 15 minutes. And then uh, Professor Kolosov will excuse uh, will be excused because he has to catch a cab to the airport. He's flying to South Africa this evening uh, to uh, an IGU uh, meeting or so. And uh, I will ask Professor Kolosov to start uh, 